Honeywell is planning to cut health benefits for 4,700 of its retirees. People that have been working for the company for 20, 30, 40 years. And we're told from day one, you're going to have health care for as long as you live. Prescription benefits till as long as you live. This is how the corporate state works. And it's funny, in the comments section, it's in the South Bend Tribune, right? It's, this is in Indiana. There's all these comments. Look, is Trump making America great again? Well, that's a fine criticism, Trump. And then someone's like, well, you think Obama? And then these two people are arguing over Trump and Obama. Both are screwing over working people. This notion that Trump was going to make America great again was hilarious. What did Obama do? What did Bush do? What did Clinton do? I mean, you can argue they passed this and that thing, but overall they've been deregulating and stacking the deck so that the corporations and the 1% can screw you over. And there's a guy in this article that they interviewed, Woody Kepler, um, who's, you know, been battling cancer. He's 70 years old. He worked for Bendix and Allied Signal, these are two Honeywell companies, for 30 years. More than 4,700 Bendix, Allied Signal, and Honeywell Aerospace retirees nationwide may lose their health care and prescription drug coverage after the company sent them a letter giving notice of its intent to terminate their coverage on July 31st. Boom. Suck it. You're out. Um, it's a continued effort by the company to cut benefits, an effort that was stymied by a temporary injunction filed by the United Auto Workers in May of 2017. See why we need unions? And for the last 30, 40 years, they have slowly eroded unions. The 1950s that everybody talks about, the glory when America was like doing so great, it had the highest tax rate, highest number of union members, and highest uh, number of regulatory laws for corporations, for banks. That's when people were enjoying. That's when you could move up. You could go from, from poor to middle to upper class. You could work hard. It was set up for you to do that for the most part. Certain sections were still locked out of that American dream without a doubt. But when everyone talks about, oh, make America great again, that one was so great. Okay. People forget that. The 40-hour work week, a union came up with that. Weekends off, a union came up with that. Eight-hour workday, a union came up with that. Sick leave, a union came up with that. Maternity leave, a union came up with that. Unemployment benefits, a union came up with that. Since retiring in 1970, 1997, Woody Kepler has fought off cancer twice. He's joined a number of people that are filing a class action lawsuit against Honeywell since he found out they're going to take away his health coverage because he's fighting for his life. He's literally fighting for his life. He literally says it's, it's not a matter of if the cancer comes back, but when. If it does, it's kind of a death sentence. 70 years old, worked for the company for 30 years. A Honeywell spokesman, Scott Sain, said the move to Axe Healthcare benefits was a difficult decision, but necessary to keep Honeywell competitive in a challenging economic environment and enabled us to continue to provide tens of thousands of good jobs throughout the... Fuck you. You're making profits. You're making record profits. If business is so hard, okay. You, 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 are the CEOs cutting their health benefits? Ask me that. Are the CEOs cutting their health benefits? Scott? No. I doubt it. Current UAW local president, John Sewer Sr., said that retiree health care cuts come shortly before Honeywell begins outsourcing jobs from its plant in South Bend to a pair of other production facilities, including one in Turkey. If you are a Trump supporter and you think Trump is fighting for you, you're wrong. Trump's not fighting for you. Obama didn't fight for you. Bush didn't fight for you. Bill Clinton didn't fight for you. Bush Sr. didn't fight for you. And Reagan didn't fight for you. You know who they fought for? They fought for companies like Honeywell. They fought for Goldman Sachs. They fought for Raytheon and Boeing and more war. 
When we spend over $700 billion a year on the war budget, there's no money for this. These are aerospace. Some of this is used for the war machine. We always got money for war, but we can't help a 70 year old retiree. This is how we treat our citizens. A 70 year old should be in the golden years, take care of his health. No, nope. sorry. Sorry. According to a letter from Honeywell, the move to eliminate coverage was made possible by a March 29th ruling in a seven year long case in Eastern Michigan U.S. District Court. The ruling by Judge Denise Page Hood found that only current collective bargaining agreements determine the duration of retiree health care coverage, but also required that Honeywell repay retirees from premium payments since 2014. See, when I talk about this, this is why I bring this up time and time again, the death of the liberal class. Chris Hedges has talked about this. Corporations have infused, I bet you this Judge Denise Page Hood, I bet you she's gotten some corporate money. I bet you they helped with her campaign or whatever. I bet you. Honeywell or some of these companies have put money in her pocket one way or another, and that's why she's ruling on stuff like this. And their mountain of lawyers are like, well, here's how we can fuck over working class Americans and retirees to save a little extra money that we don't need because we already have all these profits. On one, at 1 p.m. on May 9th, Honeywell retirees yeah, this came out April 29th. So they've already met. I don't know what the, what the response has been. But I'll tell you what uh, the UAW president said. I've never seen a company like this would rather cut your throat in a heartbeat to save a nickel. Ever since the lockout, it's the worst place I've ever worked. That's the corporate state, guys. That's the two-party system. You want a shit sandwich with lettuce and tomato? You want a shit sandwich with bacon and cheese? Those are the two parties. Eat your bag of shit and shut the fuck up. And do not resist. I will take away your health care. See how they do this? The biggest um, funder for health care in America right now is GoFundMe. What does that tell you? The system is broken. Vote for progressives. Vote third party. Get involved because this is what they're going to try to do. This, they will do this to all of us if we don't all resist. And I don't mean fake bullshit, hashtag McResistance. Yay, Nancy Pelosi won. We're going to resist Trump. She's part of the problem. Part of the problem. Anyone that's a multimillionaire that's a, that's a politician, find out where they got their money. And that'll tell you who they're beholden to. It ain't you and it ain't me. Thanks for watching. Go to the Patreon, June 20th through the 24th, the Progressive Comedy Tour, Nashville, Huntsville, Asheville, Louisville, and Atlanta. June 20th through the 24th, tickets at GrahamElwood.com. Come out, laugh, join the progressive community in your town. We'll have a meet and greet afterwards. It's going to be pretty cool. It's more than just a comedy show. It's a political event.